Hi, I'm Dennis Cox, Chief Technology Officer and Co-Founder of Breaking Point Systems. Today, I want to walk you through the 1.3 software release. First thing you're going to notice is we have a shelf-level graphic on the main screen. It's called Device Status. You can get the Device Status at any time through the upper right on every screen or through Control Center Device Status. This shows you a picture of the box that you're currently using. In this case, it's the new BPS Elite with two 10-gig blades and a system controller. As you can see here, I've created the group 1111. Over here, I can create a new group if I want to. 2222. Two, two, two. I can do things such as setting the MTU per port. I can look at the port information itself. I can make little notes on the port. I can even see what notes other people have put on ports. This is connected to the F5 box. This is the ASA firewall, and this is the checkpoint box right here. And so this is good for leaving notes for other people, like don't steal my ports, or this is where it's connected to. You can virtually remap them if you want to by clicking on the remapper. You can see here, you can drop down and choose what slot or interface you want to use and how you want to remap them. Works pretty good. Okay, on to one of the best features is the export packet buffer. We have two gigabytes of data on each 10 gig port to store PCAP information. So as we transmit and receive, we store this in a PCAP format and you can download them and view them and Wireshark, whatever your favorite PCAP tool is, or run it through a, a number of tools. You can export the transmit or receive size. On the one gig blade, we have an eight port, one gig blade. It's one gig per interface card. Um, this is a lot bigger than the industry average, which is usually around 64K or 128K. So um, be careful, because they're big files. Uh, you can generate lots of traffic. A couple other neat features you'll see here is that we've added uh, the ability to look at your traffic a little better. And when you do recreates, you'll give you flow, time, percentage of traffic that's in them. So this is good for people importing them and seeing what does the import really make up of. Um, we've also added some neat things in network neighborhood. Since we have so many interfaces now with the Elite chassis, you can do things like add additional interfaces, eight, or take them away. And they'll all shift over for you. And they, one of the nice things about it is they'll auto-fill in the information for you. So if you look here, it's eight. And if I add another one, it'll just increase the, uh, the IP address range for you so you don't have to do it yourself. It's kind of a nice, nice thing for you. There's lots of other features in the product, millions of changes actually, uh, but the big ones are really the multi-user and the uh, export of traffic. Oh, one other neat thing is on the app sim, we've uh, actually changed that so that you can, if I click on a profile, you can change your weights based on not only bandwidth but on flow so you can see what the relationship is. I clicked on a big profile here. It's going to take a sec. And uh, you'll see right here we have the weight, and then we have percentage of bandwidth, percentage of flows, number of sessions, bytes, and seeds. The seeds let you, if we pick one, let's, we'll pick on one that, uh, the seed lets you check the random generation of the traffic. So if the data that you've selected has random fields in it that you've added, you can select the number and have it repeatable each time, or you could make it generate a random seed each time. The great thing about this, of course, is that you can see how many sessions equal the amount of bandwidth. So if one session takes up a gig of bandwidth, you can see that and know that you're not going to have a lot of flows but a lot of bandwidth. It gives you more insight to how you set up your superflows because you can make such complex superflows. Sometimes it's a good idea to see how they're made up uh, after you're finished. See here, example, HP video takes up 41% of the bandwidth but only 0.5% of the flows. Um, and your superflow has two different sessions in it. Um, in this case, it's probably a DNS session and an HAP uh, YouTube request. We've also added a flash um, video generator, um, along with tons of other application protocols. We're up to 65 now. So a lot of good stuff. I hope you check it out and uh, ask for a demo. See ya.